There we go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I invited. I've been calling. I've been calling you a couple times, Doctor David. Good night. Yeah. Um. So I've been. I uh, have been marinating on multiple multiple generation trauma, generational trauma, and I wanted to invite you to have a conversation on a little bit about generational trauma and more focus on healing. <coughs> Being in trauma. the solution. What was Being that? In, Being in the solution. Yes, for sure. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I once you brought up the topic, my head couldn't stop, you know, thinking about it. And, you know, to be brief, and we're, we're recording this, correct? Yes. All right. So, you know, we all have some varying degree of, of inter tra intergenerational trauma. Uh, the fact that we're, we're on, you know, that we're dealing with it uh, has, has been going on since the beginning of time. Uh, I mean, anywhere, I know you addressed the, word, uh, the, the, the concept of the slavery. That has been going on for thousands and thousands of years. And not only the African Americans have suffered it, but the Irish have suffered it as indentured servants all the way back to the Roman age. So the, the likelihood of everybody on this planet has some uh, trauma recorded within their DNA. We all got it. You know, as, as one, one elder, uh, Douglas Forecrows, Douglas Warren Forecrows, my elder, said, if it happened, it happened to me. You know, it happens to all. That said, um, there's a lot uh, of conversation now open up. People are addressing the intergenerational trauma, but we're, we're living in a, a funnel of compounded intergenerational trauma. It just feeds on and on and on and on and on. Yes, the topic is coming. It's coming to the mainstream. But the fact is, we're, we're all prisoners in the same boat. I, I've made mention of this uh, recently with the COVID and the quarantines. You know, I, I joked with my, my native brothers and sisters that the, the reservation borders just widened. You know, and the fact that the police, you know, and we we're entered into a police state for moments, right? Uh, police was, if I rec remember my folklore correctly, was established to maintain the slaves, policemen. So the fact that we're still, all races are policed, quote unquote, we're all in it. Now, do we each individually have our work on our own personal, you know, intergenerational trauma? Yes. But I, I beg humanity not to get lost in it. Do your dream work. Go to a medium. You know, do past life readings. It, it, it helps. It, it's not a necessity. It helps to go back to a source. I recall in one ceremony where uh, with, the, with the plant medicines, where a young man, we finally got a vision of the rare, somebody on a railroad track at, going down through a track in, in a panel uh, container. And what it turned out was it was her third great grandmother survived Auschwitz. So the shame that that great, great, great grandmother carried that she survived and none of the other family members did, why was she the one left standing? was coded in this young man. And so he was still carrying that, gener that chain for four generations, the lack of worthiness. So for him, that patient, that 
that uh, constituent, getting back to where the source began, was helpful. 